Yes, I think the inflation story is history, uh, Will. And, and one reason for that is the fact that the money supply has been contracting on a year-over-year -year basis by 4%, minus 4% in the United States. We haven't seen that since 1938. So money supply changes cause changes in the price index and inflation. And you wouldn't know that, by the way, from reading the press. The July 8th issue of The Economist, for example, had a, a story called Inflation Wars. And it never mentioned the word money. They, they have everything but the kitchen sink in that story in The Economist, as well as most of the press, by the way. They always focus on non-monetary causes, supposedly, of inflation. This is just utter rubbish. I, I just completed a study of 147 countries from 1990 to 2001, the data. This thing will be published in the World Economics in September. And it showed essentially a one-to-one -one relationship between changes in the money supply and changes in inflation. So it's, it's, all, it's all about money. And so the numbers don't surprise me. Remember, I told you uh, in a past session we had, Will, that John Greenwood and I for, did a forecast in February, and we said by the end of this year, inflation would be between 2 and 5%. And as it turns out, uh, about two months ago, I did an interview in Fortune magazine with Sean Tully, and I said, I think it'll probably be at the lower end of that range. And it's looking like it will be at the lower end of that range. 